been looking at a completely different thing to most people here. I'm looking at this kit called the Astro Pi, which is a Raspberry Pi coupled with a Santa module. Uh, I assume everyone here has heard of what a Raspberry Pi is. Yeah, okay. But the Sent hat is, the modules for the Raspberry Pi are called hats, and the Sent hat kind of fits on top of the Raspberry Pi, uh, and we can use that to measure all sorts of stuff, really. Uh, we're using the latest model of the Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi 3B, uh, which is really useful because it now has full Wi-Fi compatibility. So we don't have to keep prodding the Raspberry Pi whenever we need to get any data out of it and moving it around. Uh, unfortunately, the Raspberry Pi doesn't have any screen or peripheral, so it's kind of a nightmare to work with and try and extract data. So, what does the Astropy do? Well, primarily it measures magnetic flux density, which is what we're interested in. Uh, it has a magnetometer built into it, which is about there. And uh, it also measures orientation, acceleration, humidity, pressure, and it has a, a crack at trying to figure out the temperature using the empirical gas laws, but unfortunately it, it doesn't really do that very well. <laughs> uh, it also has an 8x8 eight eight, uh, LED matrix in front of it, which is really useful because the Raspberry Pi has no peripherals, so it doesn't have a screen. But that 8x8 that eight eight pixels is a lot more useful than you'll think it is when you try and debug and get things to work. It also has a tiny little joystick on the front, a five button joystick, which you can use to just get things going and set things up. So what, what are we doing with it? Well, as well as the time picture chip that went up to the ISS, also two Astro Pies were set up, and over a period of two weeks, one of them took read sensor values every 10 seconds and dump those to a CSV file. So we created a program that replicates that and we're doing that currently. We have, it runs continuously and dumps all the sensor data to a CSV file every 10 seconds and it's been doing that for several months now so we have a lot of data. Every week we use graphing software to interrogate this data and we compare it to the previous data sets and the data sets the ISS. Uh, So what have we discovered? Well, actually it's, it doesn't work amazingly well. <laughs> uh, well, the, the, mag the magnetometer, the rest of it works absolutely fine. Uh, but we keep every 100 hours after we switch it on, we get these huge shears in data, in magnetic field, temperature, and sometimes like weird data sets like acceleration, like I, I measured 10 G of acceleration in my front living room. <laughs> <laughs> we also have, this is, this plane is supposed to be in the plane of Earth's magnetic field, so you'd expect it to be fairly consistent, you'd expect it to run about here, but it, it doesn't do that, it, it goes the other way, and then it changes, and then it goes back a bit, and then it eventually stabilises. Uh, also, you get these spikes in any direction, regardless of orientation. So even if you unalign these, the Astro Pi with the Earth's magnetic field, you still get the shears, uh, which leads me to think that there's most likely some sort of interference. Ooh, I've got a slide missing. I've got a slide missing, sorry. So, uh, we should be getting about 49 microtesla of magnetic field density, uh, but we've actually, you can't see the axes on this slide, we're actually getting in between 20 and minus 20, <coughs> so that's, that's far less we've anticipated. It's more likely that this is coming from, it's reading something that it shouldn't be, like power supplies interfering or the raspberry pi itself, because the modules are so close together uh, that they're interfering with each other. So to combat this, we could just stick a cable in the middle of them and try and get them as far apart as possible because magnetic flux density in relation to currents running through wires increases inversely with distance. Uh, but 
as I've tried this, 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 this just doesn't work again. Uh, I don't know if this is because the set hat is only means it isn't designed to work with smaller currents that you get when you put a massive cable in between that and the Raspberry Pi. Uh, or it's because I'm just not very good at plugging things together in wires. Uh, so what I think I'll do next is I'll investigate other sources of interference, like I'll place things next to it that I know their magnetic flux density, like calibrated magnets or things like that. And I'll look at those readings and I'll try and generate a calibration curve so it can read the actual 